is my papa, Tyrone Irvin. We're gonna interview him for the Heritage Project. And where were you born? I was born in the city of Los Angeles at General Hospital in May the 19th, 1962. Here's again. Describe your home, neighborhood, and town. Where our home, well, we had a large family and we moved several times, but one place we stayed the longest was on Raymond Avenue and uh, it was two houses. The, the girls lived in the front oh. with my mom and yeah, the boys yeah, lived in the back. And it was a it was a it was a fun town. It had a lot of uh, the home of Pasadena is my hometown, and you know it was it was a good place. What were your favorite activities and pastimes? I used to like to walk a lot and go all around town to do all, all <laughs> different kind of recreational activities. But I did like to play sports. I used to just like to run track, play football. And as a kid, I used to also like to dance a lot and do pop locking. What's your family like? Jobs, personality, skills, and challenges. Our family was, you know, fair. We used to like to, you know, play cards and party a lot. That was a big activity with the family. And with our jobs and stuff, like all the boys, we all started out doing electrical and stuff, and then it led on to other trades and the construction. And as you know, I think it, that's what I do. How did your family come to live in this county? My mother's mother's grandmother, which would be my great-great-grandmother, okay, uh, came uh, here from, as a, as a slave from, uh, I think it was like Ghana or somewhere near in the Ghana area. Early 1900s, they were found in Topeka, Kansas. And in the mid twenties, my mother's mom, uh, came to Northern California fifties. Um, she moved to Los Angeles area and Pasadena, which was my hometown. What clothes are you in fashion? What did you wear? There was all kind of fashionable clothes. And I think uh, I've always been attracted to wearing shorts. And back when I was a kid, one of the things that I used to like to wear was you know, the shoes, they had these shoes called PF Flyers and Crocus Axe. And, you know, they don't make anything like that now, but that, that, you know, and then Levi's has always been a part of it. But then when we used to dress up, we used to like to, you know, make our outfits. And I was always have dress outfits that included uh, short pants in, in a dress fashion. What were some events you remember from your childhood? Well, I and by to, some we mean one. Okay, I used to like to remember. Uh, we used to do a family reunion in at on the Fourth of July every year at Brookside Park, and uh, it was a big event for us. And that was something I looked forward to every year. Did you? Have, did you or anyone in your family have a connection to any local world events? Yes. In 1979, I was I was a member of the Pasadena High School track and field team. We won the state championship, and that was followed by many other championships. All. Uh, that I that I was involved in in track and in college and stuff, you know, I was on a few pretty good teams. How did you meet your spouse? I used to go to their neighborhood and play, and um, I was friends with her cousin, and 
we used to go in uh, over there and race. And so I, I used to, while we used to play in the street, they used to watch us play. So that's how I used to met, that's how I met her. So how old were you? Uh, I think I was in the fifth or sixth grade. I think it was, I think it was the fifth, sixth, fifth grade. How was the world different then or, or now? Well, the world was plenty different than, than now. Um, like cartoons, for instance, were really, really good. <laughs> uh, and kids were allowed to move about and do things a lot different than they, than they do now. Like, like when I was young, like six and seven years old, you know, we would, you know, be all over town walking, me and my friends and my siblings. You know, it was just, it was, it was really different. Uh, it was a, the, a lot of the things were the same now as they were then. Uh, things like how people are complaining about police brutality. It's pretty much the same in, after all these years. Uh, and how the political cycles work. Pretty much the same after all these years. Some of the candy... You know, I'm a candy lover that that uh, were, were, were different and to where they had better products and and here they, they just give us less for more money. Um, that's one of the big differences.